deficit. Coach Leach would address his team at halftime about past Red Raider comebacks. Well, I can think of game after game. I can think of several against the Aggies. I can think of one against Texas. I can think of one against Mississippi. I can go right down the list. I can think of one against TCU where yeah, we had one unanswered touchdown after the next. And that was the identity of the school that you guys selected. And that's, that's the legacy that's created here. Okay, so what are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do? Are you going to be part of it? Are you going to be part of it? Or are you going to be part of the one that quit because you didn't like the way stuff went? Or because of this was a bad play, and so I'm discouraged, so I'm going to hang my head in town. Because that plane ain't leaving, bus ain't leaving, so that thing says zero, zero, zero. Long story short, I mean, excited to play, that's important. I think both teams were excited to play. We had some mishaps, and then they got more excited to play. We got less excited. Now, how do you make the comeback? Do your job. Do your job. Be great at doing your job. O-line, pull them out a little longer. Quarterback, make great reads. Receivers, stick your route, make catches, turn and go up field. Running backs, finish your runs hard. Defensive line, what do you do? You play with great pad level. Do not let them push you off the line of scrimmage. You guys do a good, and then linebackers, secondary, you do a great job making tackles. The most important thing is what? Blocking and tackling. What are they doing better than us right now? Biggest thing, blocking and tackling. They're doing their job better than we are, okay? Now, this is a team that's going to come out this second half, and they're going to try to use the clock. So defensively, it's important for you to get three outs and make them punt and, or, and get the ball. Offensively, it's important for you to do your job. Uh, you know, we need to no huddle, but we don't need just some breakneck pace. You just go make routine plays, one after the other after the other, and finish drives, kick off. We do it all over again. And that's what we need to do. We need to block better than them. We need to tackle better than them. We need to do our job better than them. And then ultimately, how is it going to come uh, come out? Well, I don't really know, except for I know that that's the identity of this place. And I also know that we have won a whole lot of games by doing that when other people did not have the guts to do that. Yeah. Now, what kind of team are we? We're going to find out this half. We're going to find out this half. I don't want to see anybody quit. You just keep bringing it to them, bringing it to them, and make sure you're doing your job. Trailing 38-7 midway through the third quarter, the Red Raiders began a gritty comeback. Arrow play action, deep in the pocket. Pump, now he's going deep towards the end zone. Joe Pilotti's got it. Touchdown, Red Raiders! The seniors' 13th TD catch of 2006, tying a school record. Pilotti with 162 receiving yards, the most in Tech Bowl history. On the Gophers' next series, passing on third and ten, Deke Bate beats his block for the sack, a loss of ten to force a Minnesota punt. On Tech's ensuing possession, on fourth and twelve, Harrell, plenty of time, throws left side, and it is caught by Todd Walker inside the ten at the first down at the eight-yard line. The drive carrying over to the fourth quarter. Harold to Johnson on the quick slant for the score. His 11th of the season. 38-21 Minnesota. With just over nine minutes to play. The Gophers going for it on fourth down. Lupito calling out a play left and right. Now three-step drop. Pump fake. He's hit the backfield and sack. It's Charbonnet who came on the blitz. Blind side knocks down Lupito for the sack. And the Red Raiders have the football. Tech would take over and march 63 yards in seven plays, including a 20-yard catch by sophomore Eric Morris, one of nine receivers with a catch in the game. The drive would result in a one-yard carry by Harold as the Red Raiders pull to within 10, 38-28 with 7.49 to play. Minnesota would be forced to punt on their next possession, and Danny Amendola would come up with a big return. The junior going for 33 yards to set Texas Tech up with good field position at the 44. With an unwillingness to lose, the Red Raiders put together a 56-yard drive. Harold to Johnson over the middle for a 17-yard gain to go for 10. On the ninth play of the drive, Woods with a carry on third and goal from the one, his second TD of the game. To make it a three-point game, 38-35, Minnesota. With two minutes remaining, the Gophers with a third and seven. Junior linebacker Paul Williams sniffs out the bootleg for an eight-yard loss, and Minnesota would punch. 
Texas Tech with a ball at their own seven. Harold to Johnson at the 19. He breaks the tackle and gets out of bounds at the 28-yard line with under a minute to go. On the eighth play of the 53-yard drive. 52-yard drive to the near hash mark to tie the game. Five seconds left. Ray is the holder. Turns the snapper. He's back, hold down, kick is up. And it's plenty long. Minnesota with the ball to start overtime. The swarm defense would keep the Golden Gophers out of the end zone, and Minnesota would settle for a field goal. On the Red Raiders' fifth play of overtime. First and goal from the three. Harrell shotgun. Trips on the far side. And off goes to Woods. Right up the middle. Touchdown, Red Raiders! They have won the inside ball in overtime. Coming back from 38-7 down. Down of the game would cap the biggest bowl game comeback in NCAA history. A tribute to nasty and a proud moment for all Red Raiders. The victory electrifying the Red Raider fans with yet another thrilling chapter of Texas Tech football. Tech football is the dedicated leadership of a successful coaching staff. Texas Tech football is state-of-the-art facilities among the best in the nation. Texas Tech football is a graduation rate of 80%, 22 points better than the national average. The only school in the Big 12 South to be honored by the AFCA six years in a row for its success in graduating players. Texas Tech football is an exciting brand of football that attracts national media attention and record-breaking attendance. Texas Tech football is a university, a team, a staff, and a fan base committed to making the Red Raider football the best in the nation.